And hello again, everyone. This is Joe from Gold Eagle Prospecting, and as you can see, we're going to do our third bag from uh, Golden Pay, Date, Pay Dirt, the Dutchman series they got going there. I made a mistake on the last uh, video where I put the title up as bag number three. That was bag number two. We got a, uh, let's see, we got .060 was the official weight on that bag. So we're going to do bag number three today. And uh, possibly bag number four because I'll tell you, I got the fever and I want to pan some gold. I watched a couple of videos last night, a couple of premieres from uh, the Bayou Gold guy had a nice one there and uh, John R. Prospecting. He did a nice video, got some nice gold, and uh, so I'm going to do some panning myself today. So let me get set up. I'm going to uh, I'm going to start. Uh, I'll set the camera up. I'll classify some material, and we'll get going on this one. Be right back. Okay, we're back. I'm going to uh, move a little, a few things around here so you can see what I'm doing. We're just about all ready. We got our pay dirt here that we're going to uh, do for today. This is bag number three, as you can see my code there. So let's get on with it. Let's cut it open. We're going to classify it and do our thing. Where'd that go? All right, get that out of there. And we're off. Here we go. Like I said, we're going to do probably half the bag and hopefully get some nice gold out of it. I'm not too happy with these bags. You're not getting as much bang for your buck. You know, they get you going on the uh, on uh, discounts and this, that, and the other thing in the uh, I've had much better bag, much better luck with different bags of gold. So, we're gonna finish this off, this little four bag series, and move on to some bigger and better things. Like I said, I got that, that bag, it's sitting right there, calling my name. I know it's got a gram of gold at least, and we're gonna have fun with that one. All right, let me let me bring you in here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna let you. Oh, how's that look? All right, that looks about good. And here we go. Here's our first pan of the day. We still got the water from uh, the other two videos because I got that those tailings in there, and in a good chance. Good chance that I might fire up that sluice box and see how it goes. At least get it ready to, to show you guys what's happening with that. So here we go. Let's get some water in the pan and stratify. Now this doesn't look too, doesn't look like it's very cloudy yet, but we'll wash it up. Yeah, it's getting a little cloudy, but that's the thing. We got to uh, we got to keep that up stratifying. We're gonna dump this cloudy water out so we don't have to contend with it in the bottom there. Let's get it out. I got some organic material already. Stratify. Get that chaos going down. That's going to be my uh, my go-to thing here. Chaos in the bottom of the pan. We want to get all that chaos going down there and everything going every which way and all those heavy materials going one way down to the bottom of our pan. All right. 
Yeah, we're looking nice and good on that. We're going to dump this last bit of cloudy water out. And now we're ready to go. Yeah, I'm no, I don't know if it's me or if it's, it's the gold, but uh, I'm going to finally know when I run it through that sluice box that uh, if I'm not getting all the gold, then it's me. But if I'm getting all the gold, then it's the pay dirt. So we want to have good pay dirt. We want to get a good return, a good bang for our buck here. You know, we don't want to, we don't want to be doing this for nothing. Nothing but enjoyment. You know, it is enjoyable. Hopefully you guys know that and you started panning a little bit. I'm going to try to be quiet today. It's Saturday morning. I'm still having my coffee. I wanted to do this last night, but I was watching, uh, I was watching the other premiere videos. Bayou down there is having a grand old time at the Mardi Gras. I've been to the Mardi Gras. Oh, there's, there's, there's parties and then there's the Mardi Gras. That's, I, I, whew. Unbelievable. I'm lucky I remember any of it. I was down there in the military. My ship pulled in the day the Mardi Gras started. And we left the day it ended. And I couldn't wait. I, I needed the rest. That was some party. I know he's having a good time down there. They know how to party. That was back in my partying days. <laughs> Don't do too much party in these days. I'm afraid of what I'll end up, where I'll end up, probably end up in jail, so. We don't want that. Alright, am I stratifying enough? What do you guys think? Come on. Leave me some comments. I noticed that I got a couple of people watching my videos. But no, it doesn't cost nothing to leave a comment. Even comment on my accent like I asked you to. See where you know where you think I'm from. And none of you guys who, who are out there who may have subscribed to my channel who already know where I'm from. Don't mess it up for everybody else. I want them to guess. But we'll see how that goes. Alright, we're getting down here. We got down here pretty quick. Like I said, it's only a half a bag. We get some of this blonde sander the rest of the way out of here. And see if the, we can see any of that shiny stuff in the bottom. That's what we want to do. See some shiny stuff in the bottom. It might be, um, you know, they, uh, I noticed on the videos last night, they washed a the little gold out. And, uh, so, I'm hoping that when I go through all these tailings, I got a lot to go through. I don't know if I'm going to make videos on, on tailings because uh, more than likely you're not going to get very much out of it. But you're going to get, you might get some, some of those, some of those flakes. Uh, you got to chase them guys down, you know. They don't want to get caught, but they eventually they're going to get caught. You know that. And I'm going to do the. I'm going to be the one catching. You can see some a little, a couple of flakes over there showing up. So we know we got some gold in this pan. We're down to the black uh, black sand. And uh, oh yeah, there's some in the corner there. We're going to have to get the snuffer bottle out and. See what we get. The old snuffer bottle. Snuffer it all up. I'm sure you can see it down there in the corner. Let's get this water off and see. This is how this is how it shows up. See how it shows up right there? 
Oh, I just buried it for you. It's going to show up in the corner of your pan. Let's see. Now you can see it. These little specks down there in the corner. Right there. All right. We're down to it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be, I don't see anything going over the side. I see some of that black sand being washed out of there, but nothing shiny going over the side, so. Oops, now I can't be too aggressive there. All right, let's pan this back. Tap, 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 tap. And we'll pan it back and see. Oh, yeah, we got one, two, three, four, at least five flakes in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, I see. One might be a rock, but when we get... Uh, I'm getting a little bit too aggressive here on it with that black sand. That black sand and the gold. Yeah, I guess I guess you could say that the weight is fairly close. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get these. We're gonna snuffer up these six pieces right here. and get them in the snuffle bottle. Uh, I lost my snuffering skills. Oh yeah, I'm doing bad today with the snuffering. We still ain't got it all out of the bottom there because I guess I didn't have enough coffee this morning. Out of all that snuffering, we got two pieces. We got four left in the bottom there, so let's Yeah, we got one. We got two. I'm doing something wrong with my snuffle bottle. Oh, that's a hard one to get out. You don't want to come. You don't want to join the party, but... We're going to force them. There we go. All right. We got everything out of there. Let's give it the once over. And we pan that down so far that there's nothing left in there at all. All right. Let's go for the next one. That's half the bag, half the game over, and we'll get the rest of it in here. 
And then, you know we're going to go through those plus kitchen size strainer pieces because remember all remember them flakes we found in the first one well hopefully we're going to find a few more in this one but we'll see all right Are you guys still with me let's see i gotta dismiss this all right here we go all right stratify chaos 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 in the stars. Oh, yeah. All right. This is so satisfying on a... I'm going to take a squig of my coffee here. Give me a break. Mmm. Ah, so satisfying. Coffee and gold. Coffee and gold. Well, it's better than that. We're going to dump out our cloudy water. And stratify it up again. You can swirl it around like that in the beginning to get that cloudy stuff up. But like I told you in the previous video, I like back and forth creates more, I think it creates more chaos. If you're going around in a circle like this, the chaos is, eh, it, it don't know nothing. So we go back and forth and suspend that stuff up in the, in the solution. I call it a solution because it's jet dry and water. Don't forget your jet dry in there. Come on. All right, let's get this cloudy stuff off. Now let's see what I'm seeing in there. I'm seeing bubbles in there. I, I thought, you know, you get visions of grandeur. You want to see a, a pan loaded with gold to the hilt down there in the bottom. And you mistake mica and bubbles and everything else there for, uh, for gold. But the more you, the more you pan, the more... The more sand and dirt that you pan, you come to realize that there's only going to be, you know, you're not going to get rich off of this. You're only going to have fun. That's all of it. That's what it's about. Having fun. And making a little money at the same time. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to. You pay, you pay $50 for a bag of gold and you get Thirty-seven dollars in return. That ain't too bad. Uh, so you, you get the enjoyment. You got the hobby going, and uh, I, I know you. I know you're not gonna really. I, at least I'm not. I'm not gonna cash that. My all my flakes in my little bottle of gold. I'm not gonna cash that in and buy more. I'm gonna save that for. Uh, Pass it on to my grandkids. Let them deal with it. I got to give a, a little shout out to a friend of mine. I spoke to him yesterday on the phone. I'll tell you more about him. Uh, He's uh, a friend of mine. He's down there in Houston, Texas. Works for the U.S. Gold Bureau. I've uh, I've invested a little bit of money for my grandchildren in uh, in gold coins, and uh, I told him about my new my new adventure here, pan and gold, and he was interested. Looked at the channel real quick. Became a subscriber. I appreciate that. His name is Mike. And uh, shout out there to Mike down there in the Gold Bureau. He's done a lot for me. I appreciate his help. He uh, calls me up all the time. Good friends. Never met. But uh, that's why I told him, check out my video. You'll see who you're talking to. So uh, we're going to show you some of the 
in later videos some of the uh, stuff that I uh, got from Mike. Very beautiful. You'll see. Actually, I was thinking about it yesterday when I was on the phone. It's we get it raw out of the earth like this, and uh, let me get it real quick. We get it raw out of the earth like this, the pure gold, and I'll show you what they turn it into. It's beautiful. The pieces, the coins that they make are beautiful. And uh, it has something to do with uh, with us over here. We enjoy that. So that's that's for another another video. It allows me to. Tell you guys a story or two while I'm panning this out. I know this is boring, but eh, come on, it's relaxing. This is like the Zen. That's what my wife, uh, I don't know, she told me about that. I got to get in my zone. When, you, when I'm panning, I get in my zone. You can't let me get a... Uh, Get too far into the zone here or else I'm going to be washing all this gold out the end of the pan and we don't want that. But it's looking, it's looking good. I'm keeping my eye. I readjusted re my lighting here. I can't do this here in the afternoon because I got sun coming into a big plate glass window sliding doors I got here. And uh, so... We either got to do it in the morning or we got to do it at night. Or else when uh, summertime comes, springtime, we'll actually be out there in the backyard doing it. So, Especially with that sluice box. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up doing the other bag today and trying to run this or run some material I have. Saved up through that sluice box. Alright, we're getting down. We're down. We're going to get a little bit more of that blonde sand out of here. And then we're going to be down to the... To the black sand. Pan that back. Hopefully we got... A few more flakes. We should. This now... You're seeing what I'm getting out of these bags. You're, you're watching it just like I am. And I... I'm going to have to uh, tend to steer away from uh, buying these bags because it's not, I'm not getting so much bang for the buck here. You know, you want to get, you want to get some gold. You want to get, at least get half of your money back. That's what I'm thinking. And like, uh, I have that, uh, that bag there from Vendetta. Prospecting, Mike from Mike Vendetta from Vendetta Prospecting sent me that, and it's guaranteed. That's what you gotta look for. You gotta look for a guarantee on your on your on your bag on your bag of dirt, because guaranteed one gram of gold. That's a nice that's a nice pan to find a gram of gold in there, and uh, that's where you get all the excitement. All right, we're gonna tap this up. I see a few pieces in there, some nice flakes. We'll tap it up and wash it back and see what we come up with here. Wash, wash, wash. I don't know if you can see that. You see them flakes right up there at the top? Let's see, where are you? They're in there, you see them. Let's get them bubbles out of the way. There they are. That's what you want to see. You want to see some flakes up there. We got three of them. Let's wash some of that sand back. Tap, tap, tap our gold back up to the top. Oh, you see, I washed a piece away. Now, let's get back in. Did anybody, did anybody catch on with my chopsticks yet? 
Anybody take their old chopsticks down to the pencil sharpener and and get them uh, use them as a tool? Come on, I know it. I know it's a good idea. I should patent it, but what are you? I'll just leave that one uh, for you guys. That's a freebie on me. All right, here we go. Let's try to snuff. I did it so good the other day. Oh, I just squirted it all over the place. There we go. We got them all. All right, let's give it the once over or the twice over. And it looks like we got everything out of there. We don't see anything back. No flakes, no little guys trying to scoot away and hide. All right, that's that. And now, now we got our big stuff that we're going to do. You know, that's always exciting. Let's hopefully, let's hope that this is just as exciting as the last, the last one or two that we did. Get all in there. I don't see nothing off the bat. I see a nice piece of, I don't know what it is, but we'll get it out of there and show you. I don't know. Is that quartz? I don't know what that is. I don't know. It might be quartz. I don't know. Like I say, I gotta go go uh, to the bookstore and get a geology book and try to figure out what I'm doing. Where's my other pan? I'm going to pan this. I don't want to. Uh, maybe I will. I hate doing it though. Uh, so I'm not. I'm going to get my other pan. And I'm going to dump these tailings in that pan. Because I don't want to mess it up with. Because uh, I know I'm going to probably. Probably be sluicing this this afternoon. any of you experienced guys have a better way for me to do this, I'm all ears. I'm all ears. Try to reuse that water. Yeah, I'm going to have to come up with a better way to do this. Keep my coarse tailings. Separated. Because this ain't working too good. All right, one more wash, and we'll see if we can't pull anything back.
Oh, there you go. Do you see that in there? I know you spotted it. Somebody had to spot it. Because I sure as hell did. Let's see what we got. Are you watching? Alright, these are our course tailings. We're going to get them down. And look at that chunk. Oh, two chunkers in there. Two clunkers. I like them surprises. You see that? Let's see if we can't clean that out. Oh, yeah, those are, we don't even have to bother with the snuffer bottle on this. We'll pick these right out of here. We got some pickers. Let's get our little plate going there. And we're going to pick these out, and I'll show them to you. You guys still with me? Yeah, I know you Oh, wow. Oops, we dropped it, but we got it on the plate. There's one. And two. Okay, nothing else in here. They always, it's always, uh, the, the big ones are in them bigger rock tailings. All right, let's get some of this back in here. Stir that all up and let this dry out. And let's show you, let's show you them clunkers. I call them clunkers because it's some of the bigger, bigger gold I've, I've ever gotten. So when we get them three and four gram nuggets, that's what you really call a clunker. How's that look? That look like nice gold? Let's see if we can't tilt it so we get that. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? They got some nice, uh, nice crevices in there. All right, we'll put that to the side. And we're gonna, we're gonna clean out our snuffer bottle. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get some more coffee. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna get some more coffee. Uh, let me put you on the right way. All right, we're going to get some more coffee, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, we're back, and we got our snuffer bottle ready to be cleaned out. We got some water in our pan. I went and had uh, a little bit more coffee. And a little pick me up, get me going here. So let's see what we can come up with out of the snuffer bottle. We'll agitate it up over there, get it going, and dump it all in. Oh, look at that. Here we go. There's a couple pieces. Let's see if we can't count them. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Four, seven, eight, nine. I see nine in there plus our two clunkers. So, like I said, this, you know, it's fun to do, but it's fun to get a lot more. You're not getting as much bang for your buck out of these bags. But we're not going to. We're not going to say anything until we run it through the sluice box and make sure, give him every, every little chance that I can to, you know, show what you're getting out of these bags, but uh, 
it doesn't look too good. It doesn't look like we're going to be going back and buying any more from, uh, what is it, Golden Pay Dirt. Get a, this guy don't want to move. He might be stuck on one of my ridges there. We'll get him over there. We're going to try and get some, as much of the black sand out. I know you, when you snuffer it up out of there, you're eager to get the gold out because you don't want to lose it. You're bound to snuffer up some black sand, so that's why we do this. When we clean the snuffer bottle out, we try to get all of that stuff wash it down to the bottom you can see it i don't know you guys can't see it i know you can't but it's coming down the black sand is there there's a little i've noticed i don't know i've never heard anybody else say anything about it but there's a little ridge in the pan on the bottom that bit that circle at the bottom and the gold kind of gets caught up in there. So that's a, a good thing. Let's get some of this water out of here. See, the less stuff you have in the pan, now you can drop down the water a little bit. See that guy trying to get away? I don't know, I'm using my little technique, wash all that black sand down, because we don't want it. Get back up into the gold. Tap it up a little bit, very gently. You can even tip it back and forth, it'll wash it out from in there, like just like that. Back and forth, that way you don't, you're disturbing just the black sand, not the gold. You see the gold ain't moving, but it's, it's really getting clean up there. Let's see, can you, can you get a, can you see that? Can you see that gold up there in the top? That's pretty. Nine pieces, did you count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pieces plus our two. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to get this out, dry it up, and put it on the scale. So give me a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, we got it all cleaned up and on our little black piece of glass. And I'm going to bring it up to the camera and show you. This is what we got. Let's see if we can't, if we can keep out that reflection. I don't know if I can or not. But that's what we got. Maybe I should take it down. Take the camera down. And I'll show you nice. Hold on a second. I'm allowed to make mistakes. There's your clicking. We're going to turn it around. And there's that damn reflection again. Let's bring it down here. You know, I'm gonna bring I'm gonna move it somewhere else. There you go. Let's see what we can do. Those are our two nuggets that we got. I'm gonna give you my 
the tip to my uh, chopstick there so you can see you know they're big enough but we can play with them with this so we got little itty bitty guys so nice. let's put it all together And that's about, that's what we got out of a six ounce bag of dirt, which uh, we're going to weigh it up and see. I just wanted to let you guys see uh, our haul for today. So let me put the camera back up. I'm going to switch it around so I can see what's going on. We'll put the camera back up. And I'll... Weigh it and take you down again to see it. So let's do that. I had a very hard time because I found one little itty bitty, little itty bitty. You couldn't even, I'm surprised it stayed up there. But I, I found it in the bottom of the pan and I, I got it out and I put it on the black glass. And I says, you know, it's not really going to make a tremendous difference in the weight when I weigh it up. So what I did is I went ahead and picked it up with the tip of my chopstick. Those little pointy parts on the on the gold, you know, you could you could you could stick it in there and it'll stick and then you gotta knock it off. So I got it into the bottle. Eventually I got it into the bottle. I didn't think it was gonna make anything for the weight so but that's how tedious it gets. If if you like me, I'm uh, I like working with little things. That's why I got my 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 trusty uh, jeweler's uh, uh, what do you call it? A loop. I guess it's a loop. But uh, all right, let's get to it. Let's let's get the the gold on the paper. You watching? Okay. Dump it all on there, make sure it's on there. You know, it's that's why I put it on this thing. It slides off very nice. It's got a little beveled edge, slows it down, and gets it on the paper real nice. We got, what did I say, 9, 10, 11 pieces out of that. So we'll make sure we got 11 pieces over here. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 1. You see the one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pieces. Nine, ten, eleven pieces we should have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's two, two of them there. All right, we got everything accounted for. I noticed those. It's. I'll I'll have to show it to you. You'll see it in the. Uh, I'll show it to you when we get it in here. But the, the 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 larger pieces, those nugget pieces that we found, well, you don't want uh, clunkies, if you want to say, because this bag isn't producing very huge amounts of big gold. But they get to, the the point being is that the it's two. Di it looks like it's two different colors. The the chunkier pieces are a lot darker, and the uh, the more fine pieces are lighter type of gold. I'll see if I can't get the camera in there and show you. But let's see what we got. We're going to give them the benefit of the doubt over here. Get everything in the middle. Oh, uh, You know what we didn't do? We didn't zero out the goddamn thing. Give me a minute. Let me put it back in here. I get... I get carried away. I'm anxious. I want to show you guys. Let's turn it on. Let's put our kettle on there and zero it. Zero it. Okay. When we get it in here, we'll make sure we got everything, but I'm sure we're doing it right. We don't want to be too aggressive there, but yeah, I can see already. Mm. 
not gonna look it's not gonna weigh up pretty good i'm telling you but you know compared i watched all the videos i i like them guys on that f1 especially the live chats we had two of them last night very good uh that's the Bayou Gold guy. He had uh, his Mardi Gras video on there. And uh, John R. Prospecting had a nice video. Uh, you know, those guys get gold out of there and they're real nice gold. You know, eventually we'll get there. We're going to find the right, uh, right people to buy good pay dirt from. So bear with me. All right. And the official thing is going to be... Point one one eight, one one nine. Let's go with point one one nine. Uh, what are you gonna do? All right, I'm gonna bring the camera down, and I'm gonna let you guys see that. Let's see. You can't get it off of here. All right, we're gonna spin it around. Oops, I'm going to sit down for this, but this is where we are. If you can see that. I don't know if we get better light. We'll get better view of the color. Well, maybe, maybe I was wrong. Who knows? But it looks like it's real nice gold. It's It's got them. Look at them little facets in there. And how beautiful that stuff looks. This comes out of the ground. And in in a future video. I'm going to show you. Uh, what this can be turned into. How beautiful they make it. That's uh, that's a shout out to Mike. My uh, I call him my gold guy. And uh, down there at US uh, Gold Bureau. I hope you're watching Mike. I'm giving you a shout out. But that that's the gold for today. Let's let's spin this around. And I hope you enjoyed that. I you got a good look at the gold. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably post this video, then make another video, do bag number four, because there's a method to my madness. I'm keeping those tailings in the water wet. There's not too many of them. I, you know, I, I know you're not supposed to do it that way. You're supposed to have the very clean water, but the water's staying clean. You can see I'm, I'm getting the gold out. But the tailings have to be wet in order to go through the sluice box. So I'm going to uh, give it a test run. You know, I, I don't want to post a video and, and look like I, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to find out what I got to do and how to do it. And I'm going to trim up this mustard. And uh, so we're going to... Uh, we're gonna set that. We're gonna set that up, and that's gonna be for a future video when we know exactly how how to use it, and so you're not seeing me fumbling around this, that, and the other thing. All right. With that, I hope you enjoyed this, and we're gonna be back and do bag number four, and get this out of the way because I'm I'm not I'm not very happy with this stuff. Uh, and and we're gonna go on to uh, uh, the next bag vendetta, guaranteed one gram of gold. So stay with me, and we'll see you soon. This is Gold Eagle Prospecting. My name is Joe, and I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you later. Take care.